just a short time ago, announcing a deal to avert a rail strike and thanking one man in particular. And I'm grateful, grateful for the members of the administration who worked tirelessly on both sides to help get this done. I especially want to thank Labor Secretary Marty Walsh, a card-carrying union member and the first union labor secretary in decades, for his tireless round the clock work. And that man joining us now, uh, Labor Secretary Marty Walsh, likely hyped up on coffee or Red Bull at this point, having negotiated till 5 a.m. Um, overnight over this uh, possible rail strike. Uh, Secretary Walsh, thanks for joining us on this. I, I know you're quite tired, so we appreciate you giving us some time uh, today. How'd you get it done? Um, you know, the president expressed to me very early on that this is a really important negotiation uh, for the for our country, for the supply chain, but also for the workers here. And basically what happened was we brought both sides in yesterday at the Department of Labor at 8.30 in the morning. We started talking at 8, 9 o'clock in the morning and literally just keeping both sides at the table and passing back proposals. And we were able to accomplish. We wrapped up by about 3.30 and then, then the, the, the next two hours was about reading the documents and getting signatures on them. Secretary Walsh, um, you talked about and tweeted about how catastrophic, and you just mentioned it now, a rail strike could have been for this economy and the supply chain issues um, that are already um, so prevalent um, in our economy. Talk us through what that would have looked like and how close we were to that happening. Well, I'll be honest with you. You know, you think about what we've gone through in the last two years with the pandemic uh, and getting our economy back and running again. Uh, if, if, a, if a strike were to happen, uh, the, the projections are about $2 billion in, in lost revenue every day of goods and services going across the United States of America. Uh, potentially 730,000 workers laid off outside of what was going to be on strike. Uh, so we, we were close. But uh, to, to having real troubles. But again, we had two committed sides that wanted to get a deal done. This, this negotiation has been going on for over two years. Yeah. The, pres you know, the president put together an emergency board. They came back with recommendations. And, and what we had to do is finalize this now. Membership vote hasn't happened yet. How confident are you it's going to come through? I feel confident. You know, this is a good deal. And, and obviously, the, the, the leadership of the unions were, were very active last night. And they're going to go out and talk to their members about what's in this deal. And I think that there's a, there's a lot of good things in this deal that for, for workers and respecting workers. And certainly, the president was very clear today as well that he respects the workers that work on the train. They took us through a pandemic. Uh, they've been working without a contract for the last two years. So it's important that, that they're respected. And, and I think when they get a chance to hear their leadership and hear their negotiating teams about what's in this deal, I, I hopefully that we'll get a, a positive vote. Secretary Walsh, there's a lot of anger, um, especially from the membership of these unions surrounding um, these negotiations. They felt as if they were being uh, mistreated through it all. Why did it take so long? I know the administration kicked the can a little bit down the road over the summer. Why does it take up until this point a possible <clears throat> rail strike in order to actually get it done? Why not get it done sooner? Well, I'll tell you, last night before I left the, the rooms, I said to both sides, uh, you need to start earlier. You need to get a contract done. You need to have respect at the table. And you can't wait. And, and what happened in this particular negotiation, I can't speak to what happened over the last two years. I've only been involved with it for the last couple of months. But really, it, there was a breakdown there of communication. And what we found out last night, you don't have a breakdown of communication when two sides stay at the table. Labor Secretary Marty Walsh, um, hopefully you're going to be able to get some sleep today or at least uh, take a quick nap um, after your hard work last night. We appreciate you giving us a couple of minutes today. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you very much.